Have you ever dreamed of living in a house that was just a little bit more glamorous? Well, you're not alone. Pretty much everyone has looked at mega mansions or a star's home and wanted to live there. But for some lucky people out there, that dream is more than just a reality. It's a way of life. So today, we track down some of the world's most unbelievable and incredible houses, some of which the owners don't even want you to know about. Ready to upgrade your understanding of what a house could ever be? Let's get it on. Opus Beverly Hills the first thing you're sure to notice about the incredible Opus Mansion in Beverly Hills is pretty obvious. Gold, and a whole lot of it. The $80 million home is really more of a work of art than a simple place to live. And as you can see by the gates, the fountain at the entrance, and even the trim of the walls, there was a theme in mind behind this wild design. But while you might think that these flashy displays on the outside would be the most extravagant parts of this otherwise seemingly commonplace mansion, <laughs> The Opus combines being in your face with incredibly well-hidden subtlety, with a whole nother world of elegance hidden just below for only those lucky enough to be let in on the secret. Inside, you'll find a massive crystal room with $100,000 worth of gold champagne. And what's the point of gold champagne if you can't serve it out of a solid gold champagne gun? You serious? But looking past the retractable glass wall that hides the 85-foot infinity pool at the surface, this mansion has even more luxurious secrets hidden within. The Opus is fixed with a second underground pool with a waterfall dropping in from the open roof above. Even further below, you'll find a collection of plunge pools, both hot and cold, and even a built-in salon to keep the owners looking fresh without ever leaving home. But if you ever did need to leave home, what's the point of a gilded house without some equally gold-covered rides to match? Now this truly lives up to the Opus name, Cliff Haven. When looking for the ultimate getaway spot for a custom-built dream house, what better plan than hiding your place in plain sight? At a glance, you might just see a regular old cliffside, but take a closer look and you'll see Phil Houghton's handmade cliff house working perfectly in step with the remote location of the incredibly unique home meant to be completely independent from the rest of society, the Cliffside House is entirely self-sufficient, keeping the inhabitants entirely off the grid and in control of their own lives. A set of solar panels higher on the mountain fully power the home, and the 52-acre plot of land surrounding it provides all kinds of nutritious foods, so there's never any reason to head back into civilization for supplies. The walls of the house are rock solid, with bedrooms being carved right into the mountainside. And for those who are interested in staying fully off the grid, a rock tunnel out the back serves as a cool secret passageway to the other end of the mountain that can be used for sneaky getaways or for an ultimate game of hide and seek. I guess you could say that this uniquely made house really rocks. Goose Creek Tower Alaska is the biggest state in the entire U.S., and most of that land is just as nature made it. Meaning, if you wanted to build a hidden getaway in the middle of nowhere, there aren't many places better than here. In Talkeetna, Alaska, a town so small I'm sure you've never heard of it before, that's exactly what the owners of the Goose Creek Tower decided to do. It's not hard to see why the locals call this place the Dr. Seuss House, with its unique and honestly rather weird design rising 185 feet out of the otherwise empty fields. But take a look inside and the fantasy aspects only get wilder. Made from the imagination of Philip Weidner, an eccentric architect, the design follows a traditional wood cabin style, making it blend perfectly with the untamed natural habitat it resides in. However, the owner never rests and the house is still under construction to this day, with more and more log cabins and features being added every year. And with the view from the 17th floor being in the perfect line of sight for the northern lights, the house ends up being not just a beautiful building but an inspiring piece of art that makes any visitors feel connected to the universe just by taking a look outside. St. Moritz if you were incredibly rich, you probably wouldn't want to show it off too heavily. But still, what's the point of having money if you can't splurge a little bit? Well, that's sort of the exact philosophy behind the St. Moritz Manor in Switzerland. From the outside, it might just seem like your run-of-the-mill humble abode, but take a look below the surface and the $185 million price tag begins to show its worth. The St. Moritz house has not one, but seven basement levels, each with an escalating level of luxury and value. At the entrance floor, 
floor, you'll find an elegant hardwood stairwell leading to an incredible welcoming area. Looking around without knowing what you're doing might impress most, but with a little intuition, you might get to see the many hidden rooms, offices, and breakfast nooks tucked away behind secret passages. In the penthouse bedroom, things really get kicked up, with a 360-degree steam shower and a 24-karat gold gilded walk-in closet. But taking a look under the hood of the house will really blow you away. Buried below are a wine cellar, a private movie theater, and even a ski lodge with a private lift up to the nearby mountaintops, as well as a Himalayan salt room, an ice chamber, and the cherry on top, a subterranean pool that's really more akin to a lake. And of course, to have a house of this caliber, you're gonna need a few cars to match. This secretive hideaway literally tucks cars underground and then brings them back up, spinning them on a pedestal strong enough to move a two-ton Bentley. Arc Up House Yacht Welcome to the Ark Up House Yacht, the ultimate fusion of both land and sea living. Looking at this house at first, you might not believe it could actually be seaworthy with its perfect rectangular shape, but the Ark Up is able to stand up to waters of any kind and even hurricanes without so much as wobbling the inside. On board, the boat looks much like any other luxury mansion, just with a bigger variety of scenic views. The kitchen is fully equipped with everything you could need to whip up a gourmet meal and, of course, serve perfectly chilled wine straight from the wine cooler on the side. Every fixture and piece of furniture in the yacht was custom built to perfectly accommodate the luxurious theme of the boat. Outside, you have both a private terrace and a larger sunbathing area, fully loaded with an incredibly sleek looking dock that lowers straight into the water or up to the side of a jet ski. Best of all, the Ark Up runs entirely on solar electric power, meaning you never have to stop to refuel, so the party never stops on board this incredible home. Hidden Norway Cliff House who didn't dream of living in an epic treehouse as a kid? For one couple, that dream never seemed to die, and they made their own secret clubhouse on the forested cliffs of Norway, known as the Summer House. As hiding places for the perfect natural getaway go, a tree is pretty good. But a tree on a cliff deep in the mountains? Well, let's just say you'll need more than just the secret password to get into the Summer House. Far from a simple backyard treehouse, though, this place is seriously breathtaking, with a design that flows perfectly into the surrounding untamed wilds. Despite its its incredibly sleek and modern appearance, the summer house is built entirely from natural materials, with terrace groves that double as gardens hiding the house even better, and floor-to-ceiling windows that make you feel at one with nature no matter which way you're facing. If you're worried about all that glass breaking if a wild branch falls or... Wow! Worse, a heavy storm hits, the summer house has got you covered. All in all, the summer house is the ultimate fusion of rugged natural hideaway and high-end luxury getaway. Now that's what I call glamping. Hobbit House some people like living in big cities, while others prefer to live in smaller communities. But then there are people like Jasmine and Simon Dale who live in a real-life hobbit house. This wholly unique country home really does look like something straight out of a Tolkien novel, and actually kind of works like one too. Located in rural Wales, every building and installation on the property was custom built by the owners themselves, with the smaller hobbit-like house only costing about two or three thousand pounds worth of natural materials. Much like the nature-loving creatures of the home's namesake, the hobbit house is designed to work perfectly in tune with the surrounding environment, with gardens, massive homemade greenhouses, and natural wells providing every Anything anyone living there could ever need to survive. But what's a self-sufficient home without literally being off the grid? The electricity here is provided through solar panels, so the home can function fully on its own without any need for pesky old civilization. 924 Bel Air Road the U.S. is a pretty big place with a lot of very rich people and their very nice houses. But 925 Bel Air Road, nicknamed the Billionaire, reigns as the most expensive house in the entire country. Listed for sale at the sky-high price of $250 million, once you've seen everything this luxury home has to offer, you'll see it's worth every penny. The Billionaire boasts an impressive 12 bedroom suites and a whopping 21 bathrooms. My question is what the hell? What Mega Mansion is complete with without an extra wide helipad for multiple helicopters, of course. On top of that, you'll never get bored again with how many dedicated entertainment and relaxation rooms there are, including a private movie theater that seats 40 people, a bowling alley, five separate bars, a classic 85-foot infinity pool, and even a candy wall. But if you wanna lean a little more on the healthy side after a sugar binge, <laughs> don't worry. This house has you covered on all sides. 924 Bel Air is stocked with a personal wellness studio, massage parlor, 
parlor, and of course a fully stocked gym. Add to all that the massive kitchens and quarters for a private chef and full staff, and well, you might not ever need to go outside again. But then again, why would you want to at a house like this? Floating House Living on land is something everyone is so familiar with that we take it for granted, and for some people, the desire to set up their homes in interesting and unique environments is just too strong to pass up. One of these unorthodox individuals is Mark Evans, who creates breathtaking houseboats along the river in Portland, Oregon. These houses are far from rundown houseboats, but rather they're custom built according to the dreams of the clients ordering them for high-end luxury and comfort. With beautiful nature-inspired hardwood designs that blend into the natural environment perfectly and give the kind of relaxing feel that complements the gentle rocking of the waves perfectly. Arguably the best part of having one of these houseboats is their complete freedom and mobility to go anywhere along the water instantly, meaning the potential for picturesque scenic views is virtually unlimited and you can head out to your favorite swimming spot without ever leaving home. Houseboats in Western Sussex, located in the south of England, a community of floating houses have popped up and become a fascinating fixture of the local community. The interesting thing about these boats that draws tourists from all over the world is that they're each individually made from recycled parts from buses, planes, and even decommissioned rockets. Being lucky enough to step foot on any of these houseboats would be a truly one-of-a-kind experience. Among these is Hamish McKenzie, the man you'd be lucky to get a tour of this community from. A bit of a weird guy by most estimations. Hamish personally owns seven of the houseboats in the community, which he constructed all by himself, each one entirely different from the last, living out everyone's childhood fantasy of having a real-life plane's nose in his bedroom and being able to live and work in his own dream playground. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too. Which was the most incredible house in your opinion? Did any of these houses surprise you? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.